Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, right, we're at the final part now of the um, the big pond build um, that's been going on the last two parts. Um, I'll stick the last part up at the top now. Um, so it's the one with all undercover and it's the um, one with like a conservatory on the side, was superb. So I've come up today just to drop a couple more fittings off just to finish a couple of things off. But there's fish in the pond and we're going to move some more in there today. Um, but we'll go through the system um, now of... I've got my head round it a little bit because it was a it is quite a new thing really you know building an in, in pond um, bio chamber um, so it's looking you know it, it does look well um, there's a few other things that we probably could have done um, well that the, the owner of the pond could have done and I, which he still can do which is not a problem but it's trial and error so we will go through that as well but it does it looks great so the old pond which i'll show you now which you've seen on the previous videos that's due to go in the middle at the beginning of august that's all going to be knocked down um so that'll be the end of an era i think that was the highest video count we ever got on that one one of the first ones I ever did really so quite amazing really so uh, yeah so the end of an era but this is koi keeping for you people just start and then they go bigger and bigger and bigger so this is a typical example of that so right let's have a quick look at the um the current ponds and um, we'll go through a few how it's working and a few flow rates and stuff um, and then we'll um, move a couple of fish into the new pond so this is the old pond four thousand gallon not as many fin finishes last time because there's some in the new pond so we say goodbye to this pond in another couple of weeks and it'll be bulldozed down um, and it's all going to be leveling out the garden at the bottom so it'll be used in so it'll all be used well but yeah so we'll get some of these moved in a second and then over to the new pond it, the sun's really bright today guys so and there it is oh there's a fish in the window now the pond came in just over 8,000 gallon so a bit less than what we thought originally but you know it's always good to fill it up with a flow meter so we know exactly what um the water's in there. there's no point in guessing you can measure them but you know with all the pipe work and everything like that it's always better to fill up with a flow meter um right and there they are so now you can see all this at the, it's not this white on the bottom of the pond that's off the backy house media um news it's just the dust that's come off it um, and he said it was worse than that yesterday so the filters have started to take it out more fish that go in there they'll just stir all that up so I've just been having a chat now about the air um, the owner has got thoughts of to put it on on a timer um, not during the day um, coming on at night so we're still discussing that whether it, the pros and cons are doing that um, people don't realise with the air that it is very noisy when it comes on um, when you do when you do turn your air on it does come up and brrr, you know and especially like I've been in ponds I've actually been underwater in ponds when the air's come on and it's and it's quite shocking how loud the air is so I'm not sure that the fish will want to have it on off on off on off but we will try it um, see what happens so but the water looks lovely the shower's coming in really well we're gonna have a look in the filter house now if you see over there you've got that water coming in there now the, the, I brought a couple of valves up today to, to stop that, but I'll, I'll explain why when we go into the filter house now. In the heart of matters. So, the bio chamber there it's only the same as an excess so don't worry you don't panic about the overflowing of the k1 media it's going to do that no matter what you put it in until the fish have been in there for a while and then it'll all sink but, um, but if it doesn't if it does carry on because you have to turn the air down um, because it was a, lit, a little bit too turbulent so what we can do is we can put you see that little piece of plastic there on the end we can put that all the way around just with some gold seal just to stop that coming up um, now the two valves that I brought, slide valves, are going to go on them two pipes there, you see what's happening is the flow friend is pumping up to there and it's smashing into the top of the double shower, right, and then it's coming down into the two four inch pipes, so if you see underneath you can see where the pipes are joined, um, and what's happening it's just bringing air down with it, 
so there's air coming through the four inch pipes which is causing the air into that, that return that was in there um, so what the owner's going to do he's going to put two pipes on there and he, uh, two valves sorry and then he's just going to shut the valve slightly to get a tiny little bit of back pressure from the shower and then that'll stop the air going into the pond so like I say it's a good idea so that should solve the problem of the air coming in not that the air coming into the pond's a problem at all the fish seem to be loving playing in it so it's not really a problem but there you've got the media going in so there's the drum, sorry, let's get that open mat up, show you. So again, you've got the three bottom drains and a gravity skimmer coming into here. Now this pump, so you've got the flow friend, which is taking it all from the drum up there and then it splits to there, which that T piece there goes to the shower that's in the pond. Now we've just been working out the flows. We reckon um, on this pond there's probably about 5,000 gallons per hour going back into the pond. So it's turning the water over very fast. So, you know, roughly about one and a half times, you know, one time every an hour and a half, something, something like that. So it, it's good. Um, so then we've got another pump there, which all that's doing is running through the heater, which is, let me just show you that. which is there. Um, now he was just telling me as well, when he turned the heater on, the pond was at, this is a 25 kilowatt um, air source heat pump. Um, and when he put the original water in, it was 15 degrees C. Obviously we're having nice weather. He got it to 23 degrees in eight hours. Very, very good, very good. So going back in. So there's the drum waste as well. So yeah. So there's only probably just oh, there's probably about 60, 70 litres of K1 in there, but it's going to take time to sink. It always does. So I would have thought when we put these new fish in, I'd probably give it about another week before it all starts to sink properly. So yeah, so 5,000 gallon an hour over the showers and back into the pond through the, um, the bio chamber as well. So we are getting quite, a, you can tell the flow in the pond. I'll try and put it on the camera so you can see it. Um, then there's the skimmer coming in, which is the four inch custom skimmer we did. Um, so all the valves and everything, which I showed you on the last video, so there's no need to go through that again. Um, obviously there's, you're just about to put cameras up in here now and everything like that. So obviously the um, water's not really had time to make any readings yet. pH is fine. Um, so yeah, it's looking well. So, but we'll get some fish in now and then we'll see how they get on. So it's quite, you can hear the noise in there. You can hear that. I think that's all coming from the shower that you can hear there. But like I said, when you shut this door, like one of them old Everest adverts with the patio door. So you can see, you can see over there where the air's coming in. And that's the shower there. So that, sh that size shower will take 4,000 gallon an hour. So there is, you can still see, you can see the water coming round, you can see it moving. So we have got quite a good movement in the pond. Because don't forget that there's three returns, which are four inch. So you can see the water moving quite nicely or heading towards that powerful skimmer so the skimmer's really doing a good job so yeah it's lovely like i said that dust is from the backy media so that'll let them all clear up once we start putting more fish in i think they know there's something about to happen so but anyway let's crack on moving some fish right, we're on. Sid. 
this is the this is the one you got from Cuddlebrook. Yeah. Nice, aren't they? Well, do you know what? It's, it's turning into a craft. Yeah, yeah. It's the friendly, really nice. friendliest fish in the pond. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice. these up this side in a minute mate because I yeah. don't want them jumping over that back wall. Everybody will be watching this for a Formula One thing, hoping that one's going to come crashing out. I'll have to bleep that out. I don't even know how to bleep stuff out.
caught that with the net. Right? If you caught that with that angling net to get to know. And there you go. Placostomus. One for Mark McKinney there. Do you know the um, Latin name, Mark? Yeah, brilliant. And what temperature is this pond then? It's 23. It's a 23. Right. I know, yeah. You have to keep it at 23 all over winter now. Eight, uh, you've got to go down 16, just 18 ideally. Don't look full, mate. I think you need more fish, to be honest with you. Could be your lucky day. <laughs> and there they are. All in the new home. And now the air, um, the air pump from the old pond can get transferred over to this pond now, and then there'll be all the diffusers will work as well. Like I said, this will be in, the next video we do on this will probably be in the winter time, so then we can see what it's like to enjoy in the winter when it's freezing outside or raining outside. But for now, I think that's about it for this one. But it's been a great pond to watch being built, really has. And uh, now we'll just keep an eye on it. And I, if I do come up here, like I said, if there is a time that I do come up here, I will do another video on it. But yeah, I think it's um, pretty much done now. So yeah, excellent. Thanks very much for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.